Your job is to disappoint as many people as humanly possible so that you never disappoint yourself. As many people as it takes forever. Oh God. Learning lots with Bree and Jesse. Hello. Hi, I'm Jesse. And I'm Bree. And we're learning, learning lots. lots. Uh, boy, did we learn a lot from the last episode. We sure did. Basically, that we were serious mm. ladies. <laughs> Very serious <laughs> ladies. So we thought we'd lighten it up with a little topic called truth. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Jesse? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I think truth is interesting because there's like a, there are different truths to me. There's facts and there's feelings. So like there are things that you feel that are an absolute truth for you. And I feel like those things change over your life or that's what we're starting to accept and realize. You can have an idea of who you are when you're 19 years old. And it would be weird if that was still your idea of who you are when you're 30. Well, is it that truths are changing or is it that they were just beliefs that we have with experience and with time dispelled? I don't know, which is why we're here and why we have two guests that are much smarter than us. Yes, that's the goal of this entire (laughs) podcast. Uh, Okay, so it's about time for our first guest. Glennon Doyle is an author, activist, and founder of Together Rising, an all-women-led nonprofit organization that has revolutionized grassroots philanthropy, raising over $28 million for women, families, and children in crisis. Her most recent book, Untamed, is the number one New York Times bestseller and has sold 2 million copies. Her books have shared her life through sobriety, parenting, activism, and love. Glennon, thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited to talk to you. Guys, I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for inviting me. I was so excited when Bree reached out. I think one great way to begin with this is just what we're talking about when we're talking about truth. Because I think in Untamed, you talk a lot about truth and in truth in terms of the difference between truth and a belief. Yes. I mean, it's just such an interesting time to be discussing truth also because, you know, macro speaking, we've learned that there's, it, it is important to understand that there are facts and there are unfacts, right? So there is there is an idea that we as a, a culture have to be committed on some level to a collective idea of what is true and what is not. Good and bad, right and wrong, should and shouldn't aren't real. These are all just completely culturally constructed ideas from different groups. I just want one aspect of this con- conversation about truth that feels so relevant to this moment and it's something that I feel so confident that you can speak to because I've been in the activist trenches with you is how to hold space for when people are take the concept of an inner truth as being hate that it's like oh well my truth is is that I hate this group of people or I hate this person and how do we hold space for that as part of this conversation? Like, is that a truth? Like, is hatefulness part of truth? My hunch and based on experience with all different sorts of groups that divide or use fear or have, fear has been used on them, right? To indoctrinate is that hate comes in from indoctrination. I think that hate is just something that is fear-based and is always when you trace it back to its origins is always always taught it's part of conditioning it's part of training questioning hateful indoctrination always ends to confusion from the person spewing it because it's not truth there is no hateful idea that stands up to questioning so i don't have any room for that zero yes thank you for that you put it so well i want to know if there's anything in particular that there's like a a question or something that you'd like to leave anyone who's listening to think about in terms of connecting with themselves or finding their truth we as a culture are trained conditioned to think that happiness is what we should go for that the truth is that we should all be happy and so we are not we're human beings and we're all the things we're not happy all the time and so we, consumer culture tells us we should be happy. So we think that we have to fix that about ourselves. What I would say to you is that if you don't know what to do, if you don't know what your truth is, I think a really good question is what breaks my heart? 
what is it in the world that breaks my heart? Okay, because what women tell me over and over again is that what they want is purpose and they want connection. When we get into this like esoteric, like what is our truth? Like, woo, 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 what is the truth? Like, I don't know, I don't freaking know, but I know when I, when I am brave enough to, to, to read a, an article that, that is about, you know, children being separated at the border still or, or whatever it is. And I'm like, shit, like my heart, it breaks my heart open. And I use that as a signal to get my ass to work. Oh, thank you so much, Glennon. I can't thank you to too. Love you. All my love. Love you too. That was awesome. She's so cool and so smart. Wow. Okay, so I've prepared this true or false trivia quiz for you. <laughs> oh, Lord. True or false. Sandwich is named after a person. <laughs> yes. True. Yes, that's true. I know that. You it's like that? Lord Sandwich or something. His name was John Montague and he was the first Earl of Sandwich. Yes, Earl of Sandwich. Yes, I did know about that for some reason. And he preferred to have his meat between two pieces of bread. Incredible. True or false. The unicorn is the national animal of Scotland. Yes mistress of unicorns <laughs> i'm the earl true or false i am the most beautiful and talented woman the world has ever known oh true true sorry about it Okay, it's time for our next guest. Dr. Spiros Mihalakis is a mathematical physicist and manager of outreach at Caltech's Institute for Quantum Information and Matter. His current research focuses on the mathematical foundations of quantum physics. He has consulted in numerous films, including Marvel's Ant-Man and also Ant-Man and the Wasp. Spiros, thank you so much for being here. Hello. So um, we're here to talk about the, the super light topic, truth. Yes, nice and light. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you define as truth? So there's two different levels, I guess, for truth. Uh, the first one, and I think you're asking the right person to answer this because I sit right at the intersection of mathematics and physics. And their truth is the idea that if you have some axioms, some foundations upon which you're going to build everything else, right? That two parallel lines never intersect. You know, the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, stuff like that. That once you start from something like this, and then you use what is known as modus ponens, it is the law of inference. Then from this certain axiomatic truths, this foundational self-evident truths, then you get new ones. But in physics, it's different. Their truth has a lower standard. You need to be sure like up to one in three and a half million chances that you haven't made a mistake. So that's what truth is from the both a mathematical point of view and the scientific point of view. We're discussing truth. Let's go back to truth with a capital T. Right? There is no such thing. There is only a single truth that there is no other truth. My mind is blown. <laughs> I know. And to me, it's just what I love about this is that it changes nothing like it changes everything and it changes nothing what is it that you would love for listeners to take away from your work not necessarily from like a mathematical level but yeah. from yeah. heart level what i would tell the listeners is that be more like jesse and brie oh did you hear that okay will this you say is, it again one more time just for clarity oh. be more like jesse and brie i really mean this uh, <laughs> this is learning lots what are you doing here, right? What is so important about this? You're trying to have a conversation, okay? I already told you something like insane, that there is no such thing, as far as I know, right, as truth with a capital T. So it's one thing to, to go for the pursuit of knowledge, but I would suggest that people go for the pursuit of understanding. It's as simple as that, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, when you explained all this stuff before, it didn't sound that simple, but... <laughs> 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 but I mean but yeah when you boil it down to just be like us it's much easier to digest of course yes yeah, just be like us <laughs> thank mm. you so much I'm so thank grateful you. to have spoken with you ladies have a great day thank you. you too bye I loved that the thing that stuck out to me the most was how connected what he was saying how connected what he was saying was with what Glennon was saying about yes. how there is no real truth. There's there's just constant evolving beliefs and 
definitions or, and that even that isn't solid. Like to hear from a scientist that knowledge isn't that helpful and that understanding is far more productive. I really loved. I think that's such a valuable lesson. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely learned some things today. Hope, hope everybody listening did as well. Lastly, I think we have to talk about fan submissions because we've said this a couple of times, but we want to make it perfectly mm-hmm. clear. We want things outside of just written word, like art submissions, songs, stories you might have, mm-hmm. pictures, like anything, anything creative we want to get to include you in this podcast. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. Aw, sorry to say goodbye, but we'll see you again. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Bye. Learning lots, learning lots. Bree and Jesse are learning lots. Learning lots.